2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, it's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? Even with this massive lead, there is no lead large enough, I have to say. It's a very uncomfortable situation because there's only one place to go, and that's down. So this player has got to be aware of that, go out and try and play as rock solid the first three or four holes as humanly possible to continue that lead. Can't wait to find out what happens here. This shot coming from around the 150-yard marker. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh, come on, sit. Oh, good shot, that. Right inside the range. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Mm, good chance, this one. Right on six feet. Right over the spot they were looking at. And that will drop in for a birdie. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Currently in first position. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Nicely done. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. All right, we're going with an extra club here. Oh, my. Oh, that was so close to the albatross there. He sits in first position. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. And he's down there. I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Oh, terrific approach and a chance for Birdie here at the third. That's very impressive. Setting the tone early in this round. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Here we are at the fourth hole. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Absolutely flushed. Nice recovery there. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. We have a par three on this one.
Looks to be going with the six iron. This looks to be heading to the green. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Just six feet between he and the hole. That starts off on a good line. And that's their fourth booty of the day. An extraordinary performance. This player is now 12 strokes in front of the field. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Oh, well played. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Going with the six iron here. This one might need to sit. Oh, that one had eyes for the flag the whole way. And hitting yet another green here today. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment great to watch and this is quality play still on top of the leaderboard par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one luke this could be one of the most picturesque par threes in all of golf who says great par threes need to be more than 150 yards not a single one of them i love this hole Chosen the pitching wedge here. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Oh, that one just missed the hole. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 175 yards. <laughs> Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Good sounding strike, that one. From downtown, he's hold it. Can you believe this? This is right out of fantasy land. Holding out from that distance. What a shot. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. And coming off the Eagle, feeling quite proud of themselves. A big chance here at the next. This is an interesting hole because it wants to make you aim left, but there's a bunker there that you need to avoid. Funny enough, there's a lot more room out to the right than what you can see off the tee. A very strong par four to finish the front nine. Time to take their approach shot into the ninth. And tidy looking shot that one. Uh, this player's dialed in, what a shot. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. 
Yes, but if they start thinking about it, that's where the danger happens. They have to keep their head down and keep playing on the front foot if they want to see this thing home. and taking aim from around 100 yards here. Going with the pitching wedge here. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Well, that's beautifully judged. This part of about six feet coming up. This for back-to-back -back birdies.
just didn't drop it. And this putt coming up for his par. In the end, that will be a disappointing par after such a great approach shot. Leading by a phenomenal 12 strokes after that one. This hole is a par four. Thankfully, a breather hole after the last few. This is just a three wood. Could be a driver up the hill. Second shot, very short. But beware, this green pitches severely from back to front. Watch the spin on your second shot. Well struck. Here we have the second shot into the 11th. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Oh, that was pure. What an opportunity to make a birdie. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. Leading by a potentially insurmountable 11 strokes after that one. Not sure why I said potentially. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? I shot that. That should find the surface. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Little birdie look in here. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. I like it. He's feeling it. And now that finds him in first place. looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Oh, that is crushed. And what are we looking at here, Henny? This is looking around 115 yards out. And choosing the eight iron here. A yeah, quality shot that. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Gallant attempt. Putting for a par now. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Our current leader now enjoying a nine-stroke lead. Let's begin the 14th. 
Oh, this is a good one. I love this par five. Just hit it just down the left-hand side. You can't reach the far bunkers down the left. Lay up with a long iron, maybe a fairway wood, but watch out. This third shot gets awfully tricky. Wow, that was just striped. Second shot here on the 14th. Well, that's up near the green there, Rich, in just a couple of shots. That's fantastic stuff. What a sensational play on this par five there, Luke. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, I thought that one was going in. A birdie putter waits. Oh, he's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. Still in the lead now after that hole. Off here at the 15th hole. Hitting it anywhere down the left hand side off the tee will find one of those deep bunkers, so you need to avoid those. Hit it out to the right, which will leave a great second shot into this green. Nicely done. went in lovely effort that looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me looking for another birdie here oh look at those birdies starting to get on the scorecard this is great play here rich and a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch this player must be in heaven their lead is now 11. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Tee shot is looking good here. around 110 yards to go. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. This one's for birdie. And down it goes. Well, the leader is really starting to gap the field now. They're 10 strokes ahead. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. 
and a fantastic look upcoming. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. Our current leader is enjoying a 10-shot lead. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Looks like they put a good pass on that one. Standing up over this one after a bunch of birdies. Oh, what a way to finish the day. Hoping he can close out. Opting for the six iron. Oh, stop it. What a shot. And he can win the event here if he can hold this part. can start etching that name into the wall of champions forever etched in history here at Pebble Beach AT&T Pro-Am champion well played and no better feeling Luke than to win on this classic layout Pebble Beach golf links a victory they will surely remember for the rest of their days Well, Rich, after that hot start, it's